Hi there, this is CeeLo or Dr. Tom Knotts, and this is lecture two. I'm going to teach you in this lecture how to connect your breath. Now, before we begin, if you've been practicing the breathing I, I taught you in the last lecture, you lift the tongue to the roof of the mouth, pass it up and over, bring it down the back and the spine, under the groin, into the dantian and the tantian, fill from the bottom to the top. Drop the tongue and breathe out. It's not actually the movements of the hands and stuff. This will help, and it helps you to take and move the energy through your body. But it's the breathing that connects it to the organs. And importantly, if you ever need strength or speed, the adrenal sac or gland at the base of the spine, where the ganglion root separates, is where the, the adrenal gland is. It's just about the size of a pinky nail on your hand that's been trimmed. Now, for men, you will pull the energy from the earth through your feet just behind the ball of the foot and in front of the heel are two points, the giving and the receiving. Women, because they're wired negatively, men are positive energy, women are negative energy, pull through the top of the head primarily and through the hands, men through the feet and the hands. So as you breathe in this time, and as you get your breath slowed and controlled, I want you to focus on your heartbeat. When you find your heartbeat, and the heart is not in the center, it's actually off to the side, just a little bit in a pocket of the lung. That's why this lung is smaller. I want you to picture green light coming into your body with the breath in. And as you breathe out, have gold light spread through the body. The green bringing in the healing power, the gold spreading it through your body. So, I've of course, I, I've sped my breathing up for you, otherwise... I would only get like maybe two breaths in for the whole video. The ultimate goal is, is to have controlled breathing. Okay. So let's begin. And if you, you like, put your hands like this, nice and loose, nothing tight and breathe in. Search for that heartbeat. Once you find that heartbeat, focus on it. And then breathe out and see gold light go through your body. Breathe in, see green coming in. Bend your knees. Slow that heartbeat. So breathe in nice and slowly. Attach to your heartbeat. <clears throat> Picture green light filling this part of your chest. As you breathe out, picture it like rays of light that are yellow going to the rest of your body. Okay? That's how I want you to practice. For men, I want you to practice feeling the energy coming in through your feet and your hands. For women, through the center, just behind the, the center here, the crown, coming in there and your hands. Now, as you attach to the heartbeat and you see the healing green, make sure you, when you drop the tongue, you turn it to gold and spread it. That's why when you look at ancient Indian symbols of chakras and because you have 12 meridians that run the body and you have 29 chakra points, not seven, not five, not three, not 12. There's 29. Each one opens a different organ or ability in the body. But that's why if you look at those old charts, you will see a different color for each one of the different centers. Okay. That's also why if you've ever studied EMF or what's called tapping, you're hitting those meridian lines to release negative energy and to bring in positive energy. So I want you to breathe in, tongue to the roof of the mouth, over the back, down and under, filling it from the bottom to the top, and then breathing out, letting gold energy spread through your body, 
all the way down, releasing it all out of here. Okay, so we breathe in, tongue to the roof of the mouth, attach to the heart, and slow the heartbeat down. Let it fill with that green light. When you breathe out, bring the yellow light and spread it through the rest of your body. As you do that, begin feeling the energy coming in your head and your feet. And you'll begin feeling it moving down to your hands and to your toes. Keep your knees bent slightly, you know, a little more than slightly. Keep your heels pointed out a little bit so that you're in an ability to move nice and freely. Practice that. I'm going to do one more for you. And I'm going to speed it up so that you're not <clears throat> staring at me for 10 minutes. Okay, so let's breathe in. In the next lecture, I'll teach you how to transfer the energy and begin pushing it through the body. All right, this is Dr. Nods. Continue your breathing, continue your exercises.